welcome to my 1,000 subscriber Q&A session. All the questions that you have sent me, I will be answering all of them. I glossed over a couple of them and I realized that some of the questions require an entire video of its own for me to answer them properly. So if I hit you with a, I'm gonna make a video for that, don't be offended or get your feelings hurt. It just means I need to spend extra time and extra attention to properly answer your questions. So this is the way it's going to work. Joy is going to be asking the questions that are going to be on the screen and I will be answering them. Without further ado, let's get started. Adam Willis underscore asked, how long has it taken you to get into the sneaker game? How long? It depends on what you mean by that. So I've known about sneaker reselling for a while, maybe like several years, but I just never got into it because every time somebody asked me, they were always like, oh, don't get into it because it's not that good anymore. Resell is dying um, and things like that. Things that really discouraged me. But one day I just decided to try it and it worked. So I was like, oh shoot, I could make some money off of this. So why not? So the first time I tried it was with the Supreme NBA collaboration sometime in spring summer supreme last year 2018 and I was like you know what I'm just gonna try it so I manually copped a eight and a half of the black colorway I tried to go for the white but I failed and then I ended up selling it to some guy for $40 over I know it wasn't a lot but I know uh, if I'm able to do this I can scale it up and make some more money so after that day I was like you know what I'm gonna try to go hard on this so I'm not sure if that answered your question um, number two nipe.resell asked which bots do you use which bots do I use? it depends on the website but the bots that I use right now the kickstation Nike shoe bot soul AIO Eve those are my main four bots at the moment Beck X underscore one five zero eight asked what do you think about StockX StockX is very good. A lot of people hate on StockX because all oh, these kids are, are killing the market, these resellers are, are killing the market, or, or people have conspiracies like, oh, StockX is manipulating the prices. No, dude. Whatever the price is on StockX, that is the market value. It's just simple supply and demand for the people making up conspiracies and all that. You guys just need to learn how to adapt. Another thing is sometimes people depend too much on StockX and that's not always a good thing. StockX is great for benchmarking prices and things of that nature, but uh, try not to depend too much on StockX. I know it doesn't have the best payout. Overall, I think it's really great and people don't give enough credit to StockX. It really has helped a lot of people resell. And to be honest, if it wasn't for StockX, I know a lot of people that would just not be resellers at all. So be thankful for what you have. German underscore memes underscore supreme asked, what was the item with the most profit? You know, I can't think of anything super crazy off the top of my head like, oh, this one, boom, that one is the most profit. But just off the top of my head is the Jordan 1 UNC off-whites. It might, it might be the union. No, like just if it's just one item, if it's just one item, that's a contender. But if you're talking about just a single release overall, then it would have to be the Yeezy 350 Reflective Statics and the Jordan 1 Unions. Because I got, I think I got six of the Static Reflectives and I got five of the Jordan Unions. And those were excellent for me. One only for all uh raffle bstn <laughs> can i start the video i don't know what that means bro sorry billy bennett.ig what is the best sport to use in your opinion i have dashi but it doesn't seem to cook for me the best bot as of right now right this moment is the kickstation but when it comes to bots when it comes to shopify and like all these websites websites are always changing so Today could be Kickstation, tomorrow could be Nike Shoe Bot, the next day could be Soul AIO. You never really know. But as of right this moment, it's the Kickstation. Cook West 92 can you make a Discord group for yourselves? Can't do that, sir. 
all of the information that I get is mainly from my cook groups. So if I made a cook group for my subs, I would basically just be leaking information from my groups, which I don't do. So sorry. I might have some sort of community sometime down the future, but as far as cook group, not in my radar right now. Your B. <laughs> Your B. Where is the best place to sell bricks? Okay, this one requires special attention. I will make a video of its own, but just to have a summary of how to sell bricks. Firstly, um, before you buy bricks, try to double check on the refund policy of the store. If, if it doesn't allow for refunds, don't even attempt to do it. Uh, secondly, once you buy it, sell it as a pre-order on eBay and then um, list it on StockX. Don't do the sell now option. If you do sell now, just be sure it's a really high price. Uh, so list it on StockX. Don't list it on StockX before you get the item because I know some people get screwed while doing that. If you are in New York City, definitely Flight Club and Stadium Goods, that is the way to go. Seka? I don't know. Seka Toto Maso. <laughs> What advice would you give at a guy that just get in the sneaker game on how to start well? How to start well? Uh, my advice is don't get into botting too soon because it can really it can really drain your money if you don't know what you're doing. If you get yourself into a cook group, they will try and help you hopefully. Which cook group do you recommend? What cook group do I recommend? I feel like the one that can really cater to beginners would be Notify, but Notify, it might be a little pricey for your budget, depending. It's $50 a month, but they have an incredible staff and I feel like they help everybody regardless of whether or not you already know what you're doing or if you're already established or if you're just totally brand spanking you. They will try and help you as much as possible and they have incredible guides. To my other cook groups, don't feel offended. I just feel like Notify is the one that, that caters to newer people much easier. It's like so, noob friendly. Yeah, it's, it's noob friendly. So drip season, tracker, don't feel offended. You guys are my fam and yeah. Um, from K Bean Kim, what's your server setup? I'm still new to servers, so I'm still experimenting a lot. Uh, around last month, I experimented with Google Cloud servers. As you know, this month, I've experimented with Oculus servers. Next month, I will experiment with AWS. I, I haven't figured out which is the best one yet because I haven't tried everything. Um, from Botman Corey, what proxies do you use on DTLR? Okay, so when I cop Turbo Greens on DTLR, at the time, I used Cookie AIO, Cookie Rapid. Oh, these are all Virginia proxies, by the way. Oculus um, and Notify proxies. So those are the ones that I used, but this might not be useful to you anymore because they're all banned. From Drew Typer, how many proxies do you run per release? I run 50 proxies usually, but as of recently, I've been starting to crank up that number to try and bring more content to you guys so that I can cook more. Uh, so now I am running 75 and it worked pretty all right for me, but my operating costs are stupid high. So I'm not sure if you want to do 75 proxies. From Christian.Madurazo. <laughs> no question, but keep hustling bro, bless up. Bless up. Thank you bro. Bless up. Okay. While I was editing the video, it seemed that we had accidentally skipped over smax2247's question, what is your favorite pair of shoes and why? Can't wait for the Q&A. Sorry for skipping over your question. What is my favorite pair of shoes? Uh, my favorite pair of shoes is the Jordan 4 white cement. This sneaker is so beautifully designed without looking too flashy while at the same time looking simple. Don't know if you catch my drift, but it also goes with any outfit. You can dress like a whole bum if you have these on, you're fly. I don't care what anybody says. Oscar Ferris 11, I've been trying to cop shoes for online for ages. What's the best setup to use to cop online? Dude, that question is vague as heck. Or every single platform has a different method. So I, I, can't, I can't answer that. 
my my recommendation check out Keith Adam he makes really really good tutorials on how to to manual online that's if you're not using a bot CJDD what is your favorite bot and how did you get into reselling well we basically yeah. answered that already what is my favorite bot as of right now cake station is killing it whichever bot cooks the most could change at absolutely any time so take my favorite bot with a grain of salt. From Nick Hamson 26 do you think it would be possible for you to resell sneakers as well as you do now if you live in a different location without the links of Stadium Goods and Flight Club nearby? The good thing about Stadium Goods and Flight Club is that it has the highest payout. Sometimes the payout from Stadium Goods and Flight Club is even more than the highest bid price on StockX. So what that allows me to do is when I get more money, I would be able to spend that money and put it into my setup like proxies, bots, whatever, you name it. So if I lived somewhere else, my progression would be a little slower and I would not be able to go for brick sizes as often as I do now. I think it would be a little bit more difficult. AL It's probably aluminum. Oh, aluminum C music. Just to echo what others have asked, can you go over your setup as far as bots, proxies, and servers? Maybe some more in depth info about how to use Kickstation. I can give you a quick overview <clears throat> as far as bots. For Kickstation, I use it mainly for uh, sh Shopify websites and DTLR and all those other websites that other bots don't support except for I don't use it on DSM and I don't use it on kit because it seems like Nike Shoebot is better for that right now. For proxies, I use usually at least a 2 to 1 proxy to task ratio. Server, I haven't figured that out yet. I don't have a definite server. I just, I'm still experimenting with that. Since I have work, I schedule all my tasks. I use Smart Schedule. What that does is bypass the queue most of the time. Um, share sales. Does Eve still cook and is it still worth owning? What's your favorite to use? Does Eve still cook? Yes, it still cooks. But considering the user base, there are so many Eve users nowadays, user base to success ratio seems a little bit off to me. You can definitely cook with Eve but your setups has to be pristine and you need a stroke of luck for it. Um, it's still a good bot, definitely still a good bot, but if you know what you're doing, then definitely you can cook with it. I know some people who hit with E very consistently. Angelo Mango, mm -hmm. would you be able to go into detail how you ran for restocks? Um, going to squeeze this in, but how did you get the kickstation? I go through the site list of my of my cook groups and I just have them going. That's it. And I also have my monitors up almost all the time. I think I spend 80% of my, my time awake in front of a computer. So I guess that helps. How did I get the kickstation? Basically I bought the kickstation when they were not that popular yet. So I was able to cop it very easily. It was one of the OGs. Yeah. Gunny77, what is the best discord that has helped you cop the most? The best discord? There is no best Discord. All of my cook groups are special in its own way. Geraldo, what type of bot are you using? An AIO bot. <laughs> Zach Shapiro7, what was the best cookout of all time and the most shoes and the most profit? Keep up the grind, Baba. Eyes hot. Thank you. Static Reflectives, got six. Unions, got five. Yep. It's Dyson. Do you pay for taxes for reselling? If so, can you do a video explaining? I haven't seen the tax man yet this year. May have to update you on that later on. I have I have only been reselling. Matter of fact, I have been reselling for less than a year, believe it or not. So I have not gotten around to that yet, but I imagine that I will end up having to pay taxes because I've made a pretty good amount of money. SM20. Do you only resell sneakers or do you also resell streetwear too? I resell anything that has a decent profit margin. So that I'm could sure. be Supreme, that could be Supreme, Funkos. Um, in my first episode, I, I was going over me reselling mice. So whatever information that my cook groups give me like, oh, hey, you can make profit off of this. 
best believe I'm gonna go for it. CV sneakers, what was the best way to cop manual off websites? And two, I'm currently in school and most of the jobs happen while I'm in school. What do you recommend I do? Oh, best, cry face and heart. Best way to cop manual off websites. Watch Keith Adam. Two, currently in school, most of the jobs happen. Go to the bathroom with your phone or a laptop. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hector dot hype code. Which is the best bot for sneakers app? For sneakers app, I'm not sure if you understand the way sneakers work for the sneakers app work. It's not about speed. If you're trying to buy a, a sneaker bot, like to try and get your entries in as quickly as possible, it's not about speed. It really is about luck. So what you need to do is enter as many accounts as possible. So if you know that already, the best bot as of right now, I would say better Nike bot. Can dot, can dot, can you see a, did you pay resale for Kickstation? No. Zhongshan. How much did your sneaker bot cost? Uh, I have more than one. Kickstation. I think he's talking about Kickstation. Kickstation, 150. Nike Shoe bot, 320. Eve, 450. 400, right? No. 350. 350. Eve, 350. Soul AIO, 270. 270. Oh, oh, oh and Void AIO. Uh, that's a sneaker bot and their developer basically scammed all their users. I paid 280 for that. Did you get a refund? No. Edwin Kwan, 2K. How much did you pay for all your bots? And we just spoke about this. In total, on how long did it take to recover that money? Uh, I can answer the last part. How long did it take to recover that money? Not that long. Well, my first bot was Eve AIO, and at that time, it was the undisputed number two bot. The number one was Cyber and then number two was Eve. And there was a point in time where Cyber was just straight up not working and Eve was taking the whole stock. So I was able to make my money back in less than a month, to be honest. What? <laughs> Young Lee G, what was the first bot you owned and did you Answer. cook with it? Did, did I cook want? with it? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, Jack Laws, your top five or top 10 bots and what would what bot would you recommend? Top five. The only five oh, here. by the way, some of these bots I, I don't own. I, I'm i just kind of speculating based on the success that I see and their history and consistency. Top bots, as of right now, it could be it could be different from one year later, month later, but look at the date right now. If you're watching this around 2019, then this information is probably still relevant. Number one, Cyber, this bot, has the most consistent track record of just taking stock and cooking. Number two, the Kickstation is on fire right now. They have incredible features and it's just working really well for me and their users. Kickstation doesn't have that many users, but I feel like it cooks more than the other bots. Okay, number three is Nike Shoe Bot, probably. They're still a very good bot. Number four, maybe number four and five between Kickmoji and Project Destroyer. I think Dash is up there too. Yeah, three, four, five, six. It's they're basically tied. Dash, Project Destroyer, Kickmoji. Those guys are basically tied. It's just yeah. Ashawada, how much money do you recommend to invest if you want to become a reseller? That's gonna have its own video. But long story short, my recommendation is start doing manual cops. Do not buy any bots yet and just build your way up. So for example, if you currently have $200 on you, then just try and get your first hype shoe, flip it, and then get another shoe. Keep flipping it until you can buy two shoes. Build your way up that way until you're able to afford a bot. That's if your risk tolerance is low and you don't have that much capital. But if you, you've got like money to blow, like 4K, 5K, you're willing to sacrifice, then I would say learn about bots first before you buy them and learn about sneakers and how to cop because even though I'm a botter, manual is still a very important part about buying sneakers. From true dot and then and then and then. Should I sell or flex my kicks? The way I think about this question is, let's say somebody comes up to you, they have, two hands you can pick from one here are eight hundred dollars 
and here is a pair of shoes which one would you take so if you put that scenario in your mind for me personally I I think like 95% of the time I would take the money from Jack Jordan 27 how do you know all the different websites that drop sneakers how do you know where to buy them from uh, I get my information from my cook groups but for you you might have to get your information from social media influencers like Keith Adam or just go on Twitter I highly suggest downloading the J23 app um, follow J23 on Twitter follow soul links on Twitter follow sneaker Twitter on Twitter um, from NYC Dorin who's the best cook group who's the best cook group you answer this audience I don't know there's there's probably no best cook group uh, Tony C Chicago where do you purchase your proxies or service from mmm so far, Oculus, Red Dirt, Cookie, Notify Proxies. Servers, so far, I use GCS and Oculus in the past. But well, where'd you buy them from? I bought them from the provider. So if it's Oculus, I buy it from Oculus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Brayden underscore Rayleigh one. How do you know when everything drops? My cook groups provide a site list of possible and scheduled drops. So I know that way. Uh, for shock drops, uh, if you ever watch my videos, I show, oh, shock drop. I usually catch it on the monitor. Monitors are basically this. Whenever something drops, it will show up. It will pop up over here. And then I press play or start task. And in the case of Kickstation, I press start tasks. And then it starts the tasks for me. And I am able to check out. From Eric Knows, what board do you use and how can a person get one? You got to follow them on Twitter or something or join a cook group where they're going to have a group buy it is quite a pain to wait for restocks and oftentimes you take L's if you're really impatient and you really want a bot I would advise you to go to a discord called bot mart I don't know how to get I, I don't think I, I'm allowed to invite but basically you have to pay one dollar to get in and then it's a market for buying and selling bots. I'm gonna make a video on how to get your first bot and Ooh. how to how to buy bots. Stay tuned. Danny underscore eleven underscore four. How do you know all drops for sneakers? Period. Please respond. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I think I answered that a couple of questions ago. So yeah. far rock, uh, Farian. Why are you staying goods and flight club? Wouldn't it be better to go to StockX and go? It's more convenient, StockX and Go is more convenient, but Stadium Goods and Flight Club, their payout prices are absolutely ridiculous because a lot of tourists and they've also been in the business for a very long time, so they're very reputable. So people who are just looking for hype and don't know what StockX is and don't want to take their chances with eBay, they are willing to pay that higher price premium from Stadium Goods and Flight Club. Eva underscore cam how much did you spend on the bots answer this one. yeah i answered that little baby underscore eddie how long have you been selling shoes a little less than a year it's brian yt what bots monitors proxies and service you use answered it already yep. fresh heat van what bot do you use and how do bots work separate video um yeah how do bots work that's too much to cover right now um what bots do i use i answered that one richie rich 809 what bot do you recommend it depends on how much you're willing to spend and how much knowledge you have jordan underscore thornberg <laughs> will you be doing any giveaways in the future yes i don't know how much further into the future but yes trangia 23 how can i cop sneakers online when i'm in vietnam okay a, a good way to cop sneakers when you're in a different country is use a service called reshipping service you might have to look it up so basically the way it works is if a certain website doesn't ship to your country the reshipping service will provide you an address you will put your reshippers shipping address inside the shipping address field and then your reshipper will then deliver it to your house wherever you live that's how to do it if the websites that you're looking to buy sneakers from doesn't support your country Evan underscore shy. Yo, I was one. Yo, I was wondering if you can give me tips on the best bot to use as a beginner and the best sneakers bot. Sneakers bot. The best bot to use as a beginner. 
in my opinion, the most beginner friendly bot is Soul AIO. Um, Even I know how to use it. The best sneakers bot, better Nike bot. But I don't want to mislead people and tell people, oh yeah, botting's great, botting's the best thing, everybody needs to bot. Botting is expensive. This month, I think I've spent. I spent five hundred dollars from operating costs to run my bots. So, ask yourself this first: Are you okay with spending two hundred to four hundred dollars every month, knowing in the back of your head that you might not even cop the sneakers that you want? Also ask yourself that first. Hi, Alexis. How do you get paid instantly from Flight Club when you drop your shoes off? I thought you had to wait till your shoes get sold. I don't get paid instantly from Flight Club. I think he gets. If you're referring to when I go into stadium goods and then I show you the check and then I show you how I made that check, that is from previous sales. The, those are sales from like a month ago or a few weeks ago. So the things that I drop off is not what I'm getting paid for. Um, from our child. How are you so cool? Um, thanks, Diana. <laughs> Love you. Um, Andre Puskas, what tips would you give us to cop easier? Bro, that is one hell of a question. There's there's so many aspects to it, man. I, I can't just, oh, here's a tip. Boom. <laughs> it, it depends on the websites. It depends on the platform. It depends on your method, manual, bots. It's just too much to cover. Sorry. Shane underscore mana. Why do I cook more than you? Hashtag tracker gang. I don't have a good answer for you, but shout out Shane. That's my boy. All underscore Alex. What bot do you use? I think I said that about like three times already. Mm -hmm. Okay, that about wraps it up for our Q&A. You guys asked some very excellent questions. Stay tuned. I will be making some tutorials for some of the questions that you guys did ask me. And also stay tuned for episode 7. It is going to be on the way soon. So thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Peace.